thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be tying a black F fly. So the hook I have in the vise is a full and mill, all purpose medium, bronze. And the thread I'm going to be using today is Uni Thread 80 in black. So we just catch your thread on, a mill or so behind the eye, and work our way down, nice touch and turns. Just using our, our tag end of thread to let everything run down smooth. Taking our body down to just past the point. There we go. Trim off our waist. Now, I'm just going to add a little shuck or a tail into this fly. So for that, I'm going to be using some crinkle mirror flash. Pull off a strand. Just try and get it on to lie on top of the shank. You know, sometimes tie it in quite long, and then use the two to bring it up over. And that'll get it on top of your shank, and then catch your waist down. Just trim off the excess there. You don't really need to worry about taking it all the way up to the eye. It doesn't really add too much bulk to your fly. So I'm just going to trim it off quite long at the start because I'm going to use the same material for my rib. So we'll catch it on and then bring it down just to where we tied our shuck in. There we go. And for the body, I'm just going to be using plain black seals fur. So it's only a size 14, it's reasonably small. So you want quite a fine dubbin loop, nice and light. It's not too bad there. Just slide everything up and then just a few turns, touching turns moving up. If you find everything's your dubbin's loosening a bit, just give it another couple of twists. And just try and get a nice taper as you're coming up your body. Taking it two thirds to three quarters of the way up. So at this point we're just going to bring a rib up. Again nice open turns making sure the Dubbin pokes through, just gives us a nice buggy effect there. And then once you're up to where you've finished your body, a few turns of thread to secure it. Trim off your waist. So for the thorax of this fly, I've got some of this Spectra Dubbin from Saibai. The colour's fiery black, just about to see it there. I've been using it recently for a lot of my nymphs find it real, really easy to work with, especially for smaller flies, probably because it's so fine. So we're just going to pick off a pinch of that. To be honest, that's probably too much, so we'll just half that. With it being synthetic, it tends to bind down onto the thread really well. It takes a nice bite. Quite easy to work with. And then just a few turns there. Just creating a bit of a thorax, a bit of a bump. Now for the wing, we're going to be using some CDC feathers. So I've took three feathers and I've just placed them one on top of the other with the tips. Now I thought they were lined up but they moved slightly. One on top of the other, natural curve facing down. And then what I'll do is, try and get this in the camera. Just pinch them, stroking the feathers back. And for the length of the, the wing, you're probably talking either to the bend of the hook, maybe slightly longer or a little bit shorter if you want. Just depends on the sort of footprint on the water you want to leave it, or you want it to leave. So, pinch and loop. Okay. 
do another one there. So that should hold it in place. Just sort of check you're happy with the way everything's sitting. That's not too bad. Nice and wide. That should give us a real good surface area for staying on the surface film. Really good fly floating. And then with your scissors, just trim off the excess and build your head up. Nice sharp scissors are a real must for this fly. It allows you to get really close into your eye, trimming off all the, the surplus CDC. It just makes hiding everything, tying it all down and forming your head so much easier. So we've just built our head up there pretty good. And now ready for a wee bit of super glue just to finish off and a whip finish. My whip finish tool there was forgot to have it set out. So just coat my thread up with a super glue. Doesn't take very much, a couple of little droplets. And then pull your CDC back. Oh, just slipped off there with a few more turns. And then four or five turns for your whip finish. Trim off your thread and now just your shuck, whatever length you want it. To be honest, I think for me, I like them coming just to the bend of the hook. So pull the CDC out of the way so you don't nick it off. And that's us there. Here we have the black CDC. If you really want, there we go, there's the Velcro. Just tease out a few bits of the spec redubbing but to be honest once you have a fish or two on it that'll do much the same hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching